some parts on it. pieces trying to get them mixing the paint up now to shoot them shoot them all that chassis back it's lacquer based stuff so we had to use lacquer primer on this not really like the stuff but what do you do Body back on the frame. All new body mounts, body bushing. We got some of the suspension parts hung up. Like I said, he's going through disc brakes, so we're waiting on waiting on the spindles and stuff to to uh, put disc brakes on and stuff. He's going to get the kit. It's got the brake lines and the, the tabs to match your brake lines too. A new set of coils. Big block he ordered all four coils for it. Big, new big block springs and new hood hinges and springs. Dwindling down. Black turned out pretty nice on him. So we hadn't done it all. Even the roof. Just to get some protection for it. Then the trunk and the uh, I'm supposed to pick that up the can of that spatter paint. We're gonna put the spatter paint inside the trunk, make it look original. Both inner fenders done. Got the doors, core supports done. We painted it. Still got to paint the back side of the doors and hang them and line them up. Got one fender scratched up a little bit. Still got one fender in the lower, I don't remember what they call it, bumper to grill filler panel, I believe. Still got a scuffy it and one fender and the back side of the hood. I think it gets the chassis back, so gang won't he didn't get the brake lines to us in time. We was wanting to put all the brake and fuel lines on it while while the body and frame was separated, but yeah, we can do the lights on there. Just a little bit more work. And 265 heavy. That's the only body lineup hole there is. I thought they were some on the back of these cars, but they're not. Just on the front. 